Amy Johnson was one of the real celebrities of her age. She was the first woman to get the Air Ministry's ground engineer's licence, breaking barriers of what women were seen to be able to do or what they could or what they should do. Luckily, we've had these women of the past who have been the pioneers, haven't cared what the people around them thought about them. They knew what they wanted to do and they were going to follow that dream wherever it took them. I don't think there's ever been a better time to be an engineer if you're a young woman. Engineering matters hugely because it's all around us. It's in everything we do, everything we touch from the chairs that you're sitting in, to the phone you use, the car outside, the walls of the building, it's all engineered. Engineering is a fantastic career if you want to make a difference. To have the chance to change the world. The bubbles do a number of things. Firstly, they act as a great vehicle for putting the drugs in. Some of our bubbles that we make are magnetic, so we can actually drag them into a location using a magnet. We then use ultrasound to get the bubbles to start vibrating. The vibration of the bubble actually helps to pump the drug further into the tissue than it would otherwise go. We get a much more effective distribution of the drug. The first time that worked in an experiment and we got this huge increase in the amount of drug delivered, that was tremendously exciting. Engineering is allowing humans to break barriers that they've never broken before. It's such an exciting future. The technology that is developed in all of these high-end engineering applications like aerospace and Formula One, that technology is what you see in your own car a couple of years from now, so it absolutely filters down. where it all started for me and I fell in love with motorsport. What really interests me is the small details. Quite often a Formula One race or any race is won by such a small margin. To have something that's made by completely different people, yet they're within fractions of a second of each other, that's amazing. I decided that engineering was the area that I wanted to go into. This is Carly. She's last year's Formula student car that we designed and built ourselves. I think engineering is about pushing boundaries and questioning, continuously questioning everything. If you're a girl that's at school and you're doing English and art, you like science as well, then that's exactly the type of person we're looking for because you know how to communicate, you know how the world fits together. We really need the skills, the creativity, the innovation, the passion that you can bring in. It's boring to be the same as everybody else. Most of my friends would say, oh, I want to go into advertising, I want to be an author, I want to be an English teacher, because still people think, oh, it's not cool to like science and maths. It shouldn't be a bad thing, it should be a good thing. I wanted to find out if the Luftwaffe or the Royal Air Force were better in the Second World War. I spoke to some friends and they managed to get me some time on the wind tunnel at the University of Surrey. Everyone was so lovely. They were so passionate about engineering and about their job and I thought I want to work in a place like this because this is really fun. Just the way that engineering's made everything in everybody's lives so much easier. They're pioneers and that inspires me to go into it. Since that time of Amy Johnson, where you did have to be a, an extraordinary pioneering woman. That's not the case anymore. The doors are open to everyone going into engineering and it's an exciting career for anyone to choose.